Hi and welcome to the channel. This is the second in a series of videos on the SDR receiver switch, the MFJ1708B SDR. If you haven't seen the first video, if you click on the link above, that'll take you there. And at the end of that video, there's a link that brings you straight back here so you won't get lost. Thanks for watching. So in response to the first video, I was asked about uh, transmission loss through the MFJ switch. So I did some tests and here's the results. So here's a table of measurements I made using a Yaesu FT991A, uh, 50 watts transmitted into a dummy load. Uh, you can see the bands down the left. The first column shows the uh, Yesu uh, on its own into the dummy load. The middle column shows the MFG in line. Uh, and the right two columns show the reduction in watts and the same uh, expressed as a decibel. Uh, so right across HF bands, just a couple of watts, uh, 0.1 of a dB, uh, you won't really notice that. Uh, the very top uh, of the specification of the MFG, 70 SEMs, you can see six watts down there, a half a dB, um, and two meters, uh, interestingly, as the highest loss at 13 watts, so down to 37 watts from 50, uh, 1.3 dB loss. Um, that doesn't concern me, I'm using an amplifier, uh, so I'll be uh, making up uh, by the amplifier output anyway. Uh, but if you are using the MFJ as a pan adapter on two, uh, you might want to take that into account. So my plans to use the MFG in anger on the next two meter contest were scuppered by uh, 40 mile an hour winds and snow and ice. So I ended up using the core linear on the chimney uh, with the full contest set up uh, in the shack. So limited by the antenna, I wasn't expecting miracles, but here you can see the two meter band. There's still some signals on there and you can see the waterfall display worked fine. So one week on was the 70 centimetre contest and this is my uh, portable setup out in the Yorkshire Dales. That's an 18 element in of antennas LFA Yagi. Uh, and here you can see the uh, waterfall display in the car on the laptop. So that's fed from the TS2000 and I've also got a microset amplifier in line as well. And here you can see the uh, full display uh, lots of signals so a success and every signal i could hear in my headphones gave a trace on the waterfall no matter how faint and by comparison here is the rig zone band scan facility on the right there uh, you can see it's not detecting anything so that's more of a, a stronger fm facility i think so in this short series of videos i've solved my waterfall requirement for the ts2000 i hope you found the videos uh, interesting and useful and please consider subscribing to the channel 73.